I believe the, the value of the top apprenticeship award is basically priceless. I believe that when we recognize young people or anybody in apprenticeship, it can do nothing but enhance the value of our program to others that are not involved with it yet. Being a top apprentice was a great experience. I can't even put words to it. It feels amazing uh, to be recognized in, in my field as the top baking apprentice for Alberta. It's such an honor and it makes me feel pretty special, to say the least. Apprenticeship is a very integral part of Alberta's economy. In order for us to build a better Alberta, a stronger province, and to keep our economy alive and vibrant, we need tradespeople. Not only certified tradespeople, but apprentices as well, because they bring the new information back to our senior tradespeople. Cody is an exceptional leader, very mild-mannered. He's very articulate when he speaks. So him taking the Boom Truck Operating Program developing it completely himself from everything that he learned in school. He's done a great job. I learned quite a bit about myself along the way, that I am capable of whatever I want to put my mind to. We're very proud of Cody Bartlett. You know, he's come back a better person, a uh, stronger leader, uh, competent. He's training our future apprentices within the company, which is providing a lot more depth in the company, a lot more credibility in what we do and in the trade. Overall, the AIT program creates a better atmosphere for people. It gives them a brighter future. And I'm a true believer that if you're gonna do something, get a ticket. As long as you have a ticket, nobody can take it away from you. All our people that are in the program are very excited because it's their future. They can go anywhere with that ticket. I always wanted to teach, and it was just really finding a medium that worked for me. Oddly enough, I started off in uh, carpentry of all things, and as much as I loved <laughs> uh, doing the carpentry, I, I realized that um, I hate cold, and winter is just not my thing. So I had to reevaluate what do I want to do and where do I want to go with this. So I came back home and I was visiting my shop teacher, and I was going by the foods class, and they had um, wedding cakes, and they were making these wedding cakes with fondant icing and they were putting it on and they were rolling balls and this and that. And my jaw dropped and I was like, I could do that. Colleen is serious and thorough and that's really what I like. Like she, she does have sort of a lighthearted spirit about her, but she really wants to get the job done well. Um, and she goes that extra step. It's been a lot of work. It's been, you know, getting up at uh, five in the morning. It's being organized. It's being really proficient and methodical. She loves what she does, which makes her good at what she does. So how can you not excel when you're just really that passionate about something? I really want to be the best that I can be, that I want to be the best baker, that I want to be the, put out the best pastry goods, that I want to be the best instructor in this one so that I can pass on these skills to the next generation of bakers. We're very lucky to reside in Alberta as we have over 50 trades and occupations that you can participate in. So no matter what flavor of trade you'd like to get involved in or occupation, there is room for you. Over the next 10 years, we'll be looking for over 400,000 apprentices and journey people alike to build a better Alberta. If you'd like to find more information about any of our trades and occupations in Alberta, a great place to find that information is tradesecrets.alberta.ca.